In this tutorial we will learn how to add colors to our objects. In Blender, we do not just add color, instead we add materials to objects that has multiple other properties apart from color. To add a material, select the object and go to the Material tab in the Properties Editor on the right side. Ok, so we see one material is already assigned to this object. We will see how to add a new material later, but for now let us check this material. We can change the material type from this drop down. We can change the color from this base color. Let us pick a nice red. But it does not reflect on the object we have selected. We have to change the preview mode from this little section. First one is the wireframe mode. Then we have the solid mode to design a scene. Next is the material mode. Here we can see the color and the material effect. Last one shows the light and shadow effect. But this is really very basic way of creating a material. We generally do it using shader editor. So let us open a shader editor on the left. If you are not familiar with working in multiple editors, I have made one tutorial just on that. The link is in the video description. Let us change the editor type here to shader editor. We can close this thing. So you can see two rectangles here. They are called nodes. We have one principal BSDF node, which is creating one specific material, and that is going into the material output. This output is finally coloring our object. Principal BSDF is one recent addition into Blender. We will look at it little later. Let us delete it for the time being. We will add another shader from the Add menu which is a very basic shader called Diffused BSDF. As the name suggests, this is for the materials that reflect diffused light. Our everyday materials. Let us connect its output to the material, and then let us change the color to something in red. So we can see the same effect here as the original principle BSDF. Let us move out this cube to the back, somewhere here. And then add one more object in its place, so that we can test some other types of shaders. Now you can see the shader is blank for this object, because there is no material yet created or assigned for this. Let us create a new material. By default Blender added one principle BSDF. Let us disconnect it for now. We will add one more shader from the add menu, a glossy shader. Let us connect its output and change the color to something in the yellow range. This shader gives a metallic look. It reflects light differently in different angles, while the diffused BSDF looks similar from all angles. So, now we will test another important shader called the transparent shader. As the name suggests, this material makes the object completely transparent and invisible. But, well, it actually turned into complete black. We need to change the blend type and its properties from opaque to alpha blend. See, our object is now really transparent and invisible. If we want, we can even mix these two shaders by using one mix shader. So let us add one mix shader, and add the two shaders into the input side of this mix shader, and then connect its output to our material. The cube has now turned half transparent. That is because we have mixed one glossy and one transparent shader 50-50. Now we will check another important shader which is called emission shader. As the name suggests, this shader emits light. Let us connect this and change the emission color from white to some green color. See the difference now, the diffuse red cube has a dark side. But the back side of this green cube is lighted because it itself is emitting light. We can now change back the blend mode to opaque. So, let us check the principle BSDF. This is basically a combo of many different shaders. It has a base color similar to diffused BSDF. The metallic property can make it a glossy BSDF. It has a transparency factor and we can also enable an emission by changing this color here. But what if, instead of a single color shading, you want some texture to be painted on the object? For that, we need to make use of texture node. Let us add one image texture. Then open this and select any texture image from your computer. Then simply connect it to the material output. The object will now have a smooth painting of the selected texture. Beautiful. In the next tutorial, we will discuss on the effect of light and shadow on our materials. Thanks for watching.